Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. And now I'm going to show you how to defrag a computer. But first of all, what is fragmentation? And therefore, what is defragmentation? Well, what happens on a computer is that your files get spread across your hard disk drive. And your hard disk drive is where your music and your documents and your emails and so on get stored. Now, after a while, these files start to get scattered all across the hard disk drive. And this is when your computer can begin to slow down a little bit. Defragmentation is the process of collecting all of those files back again into one place, hopefully making your computer run a little bit faster. And it's a good idea to do this every now and then. So let's show you how to do it on Microsoft Windows Vista. It's very similar on Windows 7 and very similar also on Windows XP. So to find the defragmenter utility, if you click on the Start menu, then go to All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and in here you'll see Disk Defragmenter. Once the Disk Defragmenter utility opens up, you'll see that on this computer it's actually scheduled to run once a week. This doesn't happen on all computers and certainly not on Windows XP. However, what you can do is to run a defragment right now. So let's click on that and it will ask you to select the disks, the different hard disk drives, any computer that you want to defragment. Clicking on OK starts the defragmentation process. So just a word of warning, this defragmentation process can take anything between an hour up to a few hours depending upon how large your hard disk drives in your computers are, but also upon how fragmented the data on those hard disk drives might well be. And finally, a word about defragmenting on an Apple Mac. Well, in a word, you don't have to. In fact, Apple don't even provide a utility to allow you to defragment your hard drive. And that's all because Apple's OS X operating system actually defragments as you're working in the background for most of the files that you're likely to be using. So that's it. That's how to defragment a computer.